Hey guys, this is Lewis and Sinjin. Hello. Here to go over Blacklight, a new game that just came out of beta and is now finalized. You can get it at where? Blacklight.com or blacklight.perfectworld.com. Sorry about that. Yep, it looks like a lot of fun. There's a ton of customization stuff I haven't really looked at, and uh, I think Sinjin, you should cover cover the customization. Customization. Um. Okay. So just where we started. We look well, at our profiles. What I like to do is just go on the marketplace because that's where you're going to see everything anyway. Customization, you don't really have anything that you get started off with. Where's marketplace? Uh. It's in the beginning where you click customizations right underneath. Hmm. Okay. Do you see it? Yep. All right. Okay, so lots of tutorials. Okay. Yep, they got a bunch of different things in the featured pack. You get a taunt chance pack, so you buy you buy that and you get a chance of getting any one of the taunts that's included. It shows you all the different ones that's included. Um, data nodes. Nodes, from what I've seen, I haven't really messed with them too much, but they seem to be like little perks that like last a certain amount of time. Um, one of them that I think you come, uh, that you get with your account when you create it is like a, Exper or, uh, GP data node where you get like an extra 10% uh, GP which is your currency um, and that lasts for like three days um, you could buy the 50% XP you could buy an actual character that's fully like done out his name is Grendel um, he's got heavy armor and a bunch of heavy guns uh, LMG heavy pistol blah 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 all that stuff you could probably see um, and then a bunch of different like camos in the featured um, as far as character stuff they got all the different um, <coughs> sorry about that all the different grenades that you can get you can get like EMP grenades and uh, digi grenades I don't know what those are oh it uh, messes up your field of vision um, it's all in the character tab when you hit character over there you can see some of it. Um, those are just the main overall ones. Um, they all have, you all have uh, pieces of armor. Certain ones are built more for like a light armor play, so you can run faster and uh, reload quicker and stuff like that. And then the other ones are built more for uh, you moving slow, but you can take a lot more hits. Um, so they have, I think it's... Uh, chest boots and helmet um other than that uh like i said you could buy the camo you can buy a bunch of different guns um if you scroll down a little bit you can see that there's a thing at level five called the revival injector uh med kit or whatever mk1 um if somebody dies you can throw that down and it revives them there's a lot of different little things like that there's a repair tool where you can repair mechanical items and that actually does a little bit of shock damage. Um, there's a bunch of taunts that you can get, uh, different weapons, toxic grenades, so like poison clouds, um, blah, blah, blah. You can get different uh, melee weapons, like there's a machete. I know once you hit level, where is it? level 20, you can get this thing called the Breach Hammer. It's a melee weapon that instantly kills enemies. And it prevents them from being revived. So that's pretty cool. Um, there's a cloak because I was playing it earlier and Lewis was watching me. And there's a HUD vision. I can't remember what it's called. I think it's called like HRHV. Where you can see through walls and you can see where your uh, enemies are and your teammates are. The cloak uh, helps to make you invisible from that. And there's actually a disruptor kit that I think you can get to. Um... But yeah, there's just a bunch of different weapons. Um, you can get a bunch of different like muzzles and barrels that um, affect your recoil and how quick you uh, reload and everything like that. A bunch of different magazines, scopes, all that good stuff. Um, so I mean, that's pretty much it. It has like everything that you've ever had and as far as customization of a first-person shooter. It has little tweak things where you can put like um, weapon tags on your guns and you can put like little cupcakes hanging off the side of your guns and like skulls and weird stuff. 
So, I mean, it has all that, which is pretty cool. Um, let me see. I can show you where that is, actually, I think. Yeah, if you go into uh, customization, um, there's where the equipment slot is. Do you see it? Yeah, one sec. Customization, equipment. There will be, um, under armor, there's a little star, there's a little trophy item slot. If you click that, you can see all the different trophy items that you have. You can go through it, you get different trophies for getting certain things. Uh, you get little golden grenades on your uh, chest if you get 1,000 grenade kills. They all have a bunch of different criteria for it, like 1,000 headshots, stuff like that. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, they have the same thing with the camo. You can do. There's a lot of different camos. If you can't find a camo that you like, there's something wrong with you. Um, for both just your character and your gun. Um, there's like every color that I've ever seen as far as guns. They even have metallic colors, so it's like more glossy. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much the customization point is where you uh, fix up what you're going to be running with in the game. Um, let me see. Where is the gun? Weapons. You got to click under weapons. And then you click the gun... I'll figure it out. Camo. And then that'll have the different camos for you. Right now, it looks like they're all Zen, um, which is the stuff that you have to buy off of uh, perfectworld.com. Um, but I'm sure that they're going to allow some kind of uh, GP camo. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, as far as customization goes, there's, uh, what else? There's emblems that you can make. They ha have a lot of different icons for the emblems, colors, background, stuff like that. Um, it's like if you ever played Halo, um, their emblem customization, except there's a lot more icons and, um, just backgrounds and things like that. And they're more detailed. But uh, other than that, that's pretty much it. Um, can't really think of anything else. I haven't been playing it for too, too long. So, I don't know. Oh, it looks like there's some titles that you can get under profile. Um, yeah, if you get certain uh, achievements, I guess, or certain accolades in um game, you get like certain uh, titles, which is pretty cool. I don't know if the titles do anything. It doesn't really look like it. it. Looks like they're just there for bragging rights. And yeah, they have a little voice thing. Um, I'm guessing that sooner or later down the line, you're going to be able to buy voices. Um, I know that C Nanners did a voice. He they recorded a voice with him. Um, so that's probably not implemented yet because that just happened this past week, I think. So. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it as far as uh, customization and everything goes. If you have any questions, just let us know. We can go through it in more detail. But uh, that's pretty much what it is as far as like an overall thing. All right. Well, that's it then for this video. We're going to go on and actually play the game. Warning, though, I've never played the game. So I just I'm just going to go balls deep. Second warning, I'm pretty horrible at the game. So... I will also be doing all deep, I guess. All right. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. P please like and subscribe to our channel. Bye-bye.